All right, so rolling out onto the speedway at this time, we got the 91 machine of Heath Hedman. Heath Hedman been here to Crossville Speedway a few times. He's no stranger here to the high banks of Crossville Speedway. Heath Hedman's gonna cross the line on that first lap at a 13.44. Once again, that's a 13.44 lap number one for Heath. Let's see if he can pick it up any bit here coming out of turn number four. He does not. He falls off just a little bit. Lap number two is a 13.49. 13 13.49. Here you have it, Crossville Speedway out of Crossville, Tennessee, driving that black diamond chassis. Platinum race engine powered ETG Tech machine. That's the number 16 of Randy Weaver. Or better known as the Dream. The lap number one for Randy Weaver. It's going to be a 13.41. 13.41 lap number one for the Dream. As he's having a little bit of pushing issue in three and four, he's going to cross the stripe lap number two. At a 13.60, 13.60 for the Randy the Dream Weaver. Pulling out onto the speedway at this time, we got the 24 machine of Greg Martin. Greg Martin, he is sponsored by Electronic Express Silk Sanitation, powered by that plat Phantom Race engines out of Oliver Springs. Greg Martin, he's gonna cross the stripe at lap number one at 13.43. 13.43 for Greg Martin on lap number one. Lap number two for Greg Martin. He's gonna pick it up just a little bit at a 13.38. 13.38 for Greg Martin. Pulling out onto the speedway at this time, we got the 17 of Chip Brindle. Chip Brindle, fairly new hit across the speedway. Lap number one for Brindle as he brings it out of three and four. It's going to be a 13.44. 13. .44, 13. Point four four for lap number one for Chip Brindle. Brindle's gonna cross the stripe on lap number two at a 13.30. 13.30, that's gonna be your fast time so far. Next car out onto the speedway, it's gonna be the C11 of Michael Courtney. Of course, Michael Courtney being the father of the 171. Big brother, I am so sorry. Big brother, not father. He is the big brother of the 171, Kyle Courtney. He'll be running on a little bit later on in this division. Lap number one for Courtney is going to be a 13.49. 13.49. Lap number two for Courtney as he brings it out of turn number four, 13.35. 13.35, that's gonna be good enough for second quick. And next car out onto the speedway, it's the B00. Everybody knows him as the Boo Crew, Josh Henry. Josh Henry, no stranger here to Crossville Speedway. He's going to bring it out of turn number four on lap number one at a 13.44. 13.44 lap number one for Josh Henry. See if he can pick it up any coming out of three and four. He does at a 13.22. 13.22 for Josh Henry. That's going to be your fast time so far. But look here what we got here, the 5J 
driving that Rocket XR1 chassis extreme pressure washing backed machine. It's the 5J of Jesse Lowe. Jesse bringing it out of three and four on lap number one. It's gonna be a 13.32. 13.32 for Jesse Lowe. A little bit of a mistake coming out of three and four for that 5J machine. He's gonna cross the stripe out of 13.86. 13.86. Next car out onto the speedway, it's going to be the J39 of Jimmy Elliott. Jimmy Elliott out of Cleveland, Tennessee. No stranger here to the high banks of Crossfield Speedway. As he brings it out of three and four on lap number one, it's going to be a 13.52. 13.52. For lap number one for Elliott. He's going to bring it out of three and four once again, and he falls off just a little bit at a 13.57 for lap number two. 13.57 lap number two. The next car out onto the racing surface. It's going to be the number two machine of John Llewellyn. John Llewellyn bringing it out of three and four on his lap number one. It's going to be a 13.88. Once again, that's a 13.88. Lap number one. Let's see if he can pick it up. Any coming out of three and four. He's going to cross the stripe at a 13.65. 13.65. Next car out onto the speedway out of Maryville, Tennessee, that it's going to be that 29 of Jason Welshin. Jason Welshin sponsored by Competition Race Equipment Hidden Hollow Motorsports. He has got a brand new 2018 Savage chassis under that GM powered 604 crate. Lap number one for Jason Welshin. It's going to be a 13.26. 13.26, that's going to be your fast time so far. As he's pretty consistent with that lap number two, that's going to be a 13 13.30. Next car out onto the speedway. It's gonna be the 171 kid quick. Kyle Courtney. Kyle Courtney backed by that mighty muffler CBR chassis machine. Lap number one for Kyle Courtney is gonna be a 13.54. 13.54. See if he can pick it up any on lap number two. He does not. It falls off just a little bit at a 13.65. 13.65 for Kid Quick. Next car out onto the speedway out of Cookville, Tennessee. It's going to be the 66 in that Longhorn chassis, Little Caesars back machine. That's going to be Deke Waters. Deke Waters, no stranger here to the high banks of Crossville as he brings it out of three and four. Lap number one, it's going to be a 13.63. 13.63 for Deke Waters. Lap number two for the 66 machine is a 13.72. 13.72 for Deke Waters. Next car out onto the speedway. This is the third 29 machine we've had. In that Warrior chassis TNN powered 604 machine. 
out of Seymour, Tennessee. It's the 29 of Rusty Ballinger. Rusty Ballinger going to cross the stripe on lap number one at a 13.57. 13.57. Ballinger as he brings it out of three and four. It's gonna be a 13.46. 13.46 for Rusty Ballinger. Next car out onto the speedway, it's the 157 of Kenny Kizar. Lap number one for Kenny is going to be a 13.90. 13.90 for Kenny on lap number one. He's going to bring it around three and four, clicking off lap number two. Lap number two is going to be a 13.65. 13.65 for Kizar. Next driver out onto the speedway. No stranger here to Crossville. It's going to be the 76 machine of Perry Delaney. Perry Delaney, of course, driving, driving for the driver Fred Flat. First lap for Perry Delaney is going to be a 13.88. 13.88 as he has a little bit of trouble in one and two. See if he can't correct it in three and four. Perry Delaney is gonna cross the stripe on lap number two at a 14.33. 14.33. Next car out onto the speedway, it's gonna be the 30 of Ryan King. Ryan King driving that Warrior chassis. He's gonna see if he can get that Warrior machine around the 3 8 mile here at Crossville Speedway. Lap number one for King is gonna be a 13.68. 13.68. Lap number two for King, he's gonna pick it's going to drop off just a little bit at a 13.85. 13.85. 13 Next car out onto the speedway. It's going to be the third 29 machine that we have here tonight. Driving that GM powered hangers, hardwood, clay, clay, farms, CBR chassis machine, the 29 of Chris Hanger. Chris Hanger having a little bit of issues. He's going to pull it down into the infield pit area. That's going to bring his qualifying session to a quick end. No time, I guess. The next car out onto the speedway, his second year in a Crate Lake model, it's the 11 of Tyler Howard. The lap number one for Howard is going to be a 14.57. 14.57. Number two for Howard, it's gonna be a 14.27. Next car out onto the speedway out of Wartburg, Tennessee. Driving that Irwin's Constructions Longhorn chassis machine. It's gonna be the 2X of Anthony White. Also known as what we call the Dirty White Boy. Lap number one for the Dirty White Boy is gonna be a 13.01. 
13.01. That's going to be your fast time. Can he pick it up just a little bit coming out of turn number four? It falls off just a little bit, but it doesn't matter. 13.01. That's going to be your fast time so far. Next car out onto the speedway out of Crossville, Tennessee. It's the 15 machine. It's going to be the 15 of Michael Smith. Michael Smith, a weekly driver here at Crossville Speedway. He's going to click off lap number one at a 13.71. 13.71. He's going to bring it out of three and four. Lap number two, he picks it up just a little bit at a 13.65. 13.65. Next car out onto the speedway. Probably one of the best stories behind any kind of sponsorship, behind, behind any crate late model I've ever heard. It's going to be the 22 of Ross White. Ross White's out of Knoxville, Tennessee. He's got that brand new XR1 rocket chassis powered by Eagle Race Engines PTSD awareness machine. Lap number one for White's gonna be a 13.61. 13.61. As he has got that thing pressed all the way to the wood coming into three. Gets a little bit of a push coming out of four. It's gonna be a 14.74 for the 22 machine of Ross White. Next car out onto the speedway. Looking like it's gonna be the number 10 of Logan Brown, or B10, I should say B10, Logan Brown. You can hear that machine trying to get all the grip it can in those corners out of three and four. He's going to cross the stripe on lap number one at a 14.21. 14.21 for Brown on his lap number one. Lap number two for Brown. He's going to pick it up just a little bit at a 13.97. 13.97. And your final crate late model of a new qualifying session is going to be the 51 of Mark Matt McCarter. Mac McCarter. Lap number one for McCarter is going to be a 13.46. 13.46. The McCarter family is well known for the operation of 411 Motor Speedway. Glad to have him here at Crossville. He's going to click off lap number two.